All right, moving on to the next Patreon request, and this one comes from Luke Morehouse, who asked me to do a Gravity Falls Has Been Hotel crossover. I figured, you know, the next two sets, since they have Has Been Hotel, do them back to back, even though I get an obscene number of Has Been Hotel crossovers, and it does get wearing at times. So, anyway, let's get into this video. So, uh, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can uh, send requests for videos to, it, to do here on YouTube once you hit the third, once you, uh, hit the third tier. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get started with the video. So this is actually going to take place after Gravity Fall, at the, en at the end of the show. And this is not going to focus on the uh, twins. This, ser uh, this story is actually going to focus on uh, Stan and Ford and their adventures across the, you know, the globe fighting weird things. So it's basically that Stan and Ford are on a ro another road trip after, you know, fighting some a, a nest of redneck vampires in, uh, in New Orleans. So they're just kind of like taking a rest stop in New or like at the day after they're just like all tired and um, you know bloodied and things like that and they're just and they're at Cafe Du Monde just kind of like su eating beignets and drinking coffee and they're just like that was a lot yeah it was it, it, it like that escalated well that escalated quickly it did it kicked up a notch it did there was. There was fire and smoke, and I stabbed a guy in the Triton with a heart. I don't think that guy was a vampire, Stan. <laughs> um, but yeah. So they're talking, and basically, like Stan, ta like Stan tells Ford, like, you know, after you, you know, um, back in my younger years, I came to New Orleans not too long ago. Like I, uh, like I uh, visited New Orleans all the time. It was one of my favorite places to come. And he's like, why is that? He's like, oh, I don't know, Mardi Gras, boobs, the uh, the architecture, boobs, Mardi Gras, drinks, more drinks. And Ford's like, I get, I get your point, Stanley. Um, and he's like, yeah, and the gambling was pretty fun too back in the day. Like I went, uh, like, um, although there was one time I, uh, I pissed off the wrong card shark, and uh, it didn't go well for me. You know, basically, I got. Uh, um, I never told anybody this story, but I ba but I um, got a, got fitted with a pair of uh, cement shoes, if you know what I mean, and got pushed off the docks. And he's like, Stanley, how did you get out of that? That's awful. Like, how did how did you escape that? That doesn't make any sense. And Stan and Stan just goes, uh, well. How I escaped is pretty interesting, but we don't need to talk about that. We don't need to, uh, you know, focus on the bad. We're this is the here and now. If you try these beignets, they're really fucking good, you know. And Ford's like, Stanley, what did you do? And he goes, Well, I was desperate because I I wasn't just you know in cement shoes. I got tied up. I got you know gagged. They were they gagged me. You know they bound they bound me in chains. And they also, they also kicked me in the balls a few times. That was o uh, that was overkill. Um, uh, and he's like, so I got desperate. And he's like, what did you do? And Ford's like, you you didn't, did you? And he's like, I kind of made a, a plea out into the universe. And Stan's just like, okay, all right, but you can't be mad. What did you do? Okay, first. I was minding my own business in the bottom of the river. Bullshit! I was! But I was kind of drowning and all, so I kind of made a plea <laughs> to, to anyone out in the universe that was listening that I would give my soul to, who, to the first uh, guy who, who rescued me. And uh, a, uh, a demon showed up and I get, we made a quick deal and he got me out of there but he never he didn't take my soul uh <laughs> he kind of said he'll come to collect later and he never came so i'm guessing he's waiting for me to die or something like that and he's like and stan and ford is like oh my god stanley did you learn nothing from bill and he's like i, I learned things I, I learned that demons can be tricked and they're dumb so that that'll help when you know we cross that bridge and he's like stanley that's not how this works that's not how any of this works you literally made a deal with the de you made a deal with a demon that you don't know how powerful they are. 
you know, just because they don't collect your soul now doesn't mean they will in the future. And he's like, relax, brother. I, I This guy hasn't, you know, bothered me in, in so many decades. I've almost forgot about him up until you brought him up. So, you know, we're all good here. You know, it's all, everything's fine. And he's like, Stanley, out of curiosity, what was the name of that demon? I'm going to regret this, but what was what was the name of that demon? And he goes, uh, Al something. Al something. Al something. Yeah, I think his name was, uh, Alistor. Al Alistair, yeah. Alistair. I'm almost certain that was the name, yeah. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you mean to tell me that you sold your soul to arguably one of the most dead, one of the most dangerous demons in hell. And he's known as the radio demon. Is that what you're telling me? He's like, yeah, what's what's the problem? He's like, Stanley, the radio I've read about Alistair. He is one of the most ferocious demons in hell. And you sold your soul to him, and he's like, I was drowning at the bottom of a river. I didn't really actually have time for options, you know? So, uh, you could stop with the high and mighty shit. Besides, like I said, Al uh, that Alistair guy, he ain't showed up in a while. So I got nothing to worry about. And sure enough, Alice, uh, um, the moment he says that, his uh, coffee that, t uh, that Stan's drinking, you know, turns blood red. And he's like, and that's, uh, that's me and my big mouth. That's, that's what usually happens. So, um, basically, uh, no sooner does he say that, that, uh, that Alistair comes, fl um, just appears in a cloud of red smoke in front of both of them. He's like, good evening, gentlemen. How, and how is your dining experience for the day? Stanley, we have a prior engagement. And he's like, oh, come on, Al. I, uh, like, uh, I'm good for it, you know, I, I, uh. Okay, I'm not good for it, but like, you, you know, you got so many souls and problem and things like that, and uh, you know, I could interest you in something else. And he's like, "What that?" And, and Alistair's like, "Really? What? What could you possibly offer me?" And he goes, "A knuckle sandwich," and just punches Alistair in the face. And he's like, "You should run now." And Stan's like, "Yep." So Stan and uh, Ford just proceed to just run. For their fucking lives throughout all of um, all of New Orleans, as Alistair like chases them, you know, twisting and contorting uh, various objects into whatever he needs it, it needs them to be, um, and essentially he just like starts contorting all of almost reality around him into demons and things like that as he's chasing them because he's like Stanley, we had a bargain, you know, and you're not, uh, you know, I waited very long for you to collect for me to collect because I've been busy for a bit so I had a, uh, I had the free time in my schedule to come and pick you up we're gonna have such a fun time in hell you and I well more me than you but still um and Ford's like wait wait a minute I know of you radio demon you know uh, uh perhaps we can make another deal and he's like sorry the <laughs> it's all in the fine print my good man your brother owes me a soul and he's like what if I told you another demon tried, uh, already took his soul. He's like, what? He's like, yeah, Bill, um, have you heard of Bill Cipher? And he's like, I'm aware of him. And he's like, yeah, Stanley made a deal with him to uh, uh, enter his mind. He's like, demons can't have two uh, can't have two deals or, the, or it's audited, the soul's audited. And he's like, I see. Very well, but regardless, Stan is still going to hell, so I'll see you when you're there. And he's like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, yeah, you, you're gonna, yeah, Stanley, you're gonna go to hell, you're going to hell regardless. You thought, what, you thought saving Gravity Falls and all reality was gonna redeem you? You led a very long time in sin. You could, you know, I could have spared you from that for a bit, but... It, I'm just gonna. I can. I can wait a little longer. I can wait 15 more years, and then you know, torture you for all eternity, regardless. And he's like, hey, wait. But Alistair already leaves, and Stan is just kind of left there, going, "I am so fucked." <laughs> so.
So there you go, guys. That is uh, Gravity Falls has been hotel. Just a fun. I just wanted to do this as a fun, quick story with Alistair and the and you know focus on Stan and Ford. Anything else? But anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'd like to thank Luke Morehouse for this Patreon request and continued patronage. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.